Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. First thing you're going to notice on this video is the sound. I'm not using my Zoom H2, and this is the sound off of the D7000. Camera's about 10 feet away from me filming this. So this is the camera mic. You're probably hearing some ambient noise from my computer running in the background. Um, whatever and other ambient noise may be in the background, maybe from the furnace or other things that are running, the, uh, the furnace fan from the air conditioning. Um, but what I want to show you and why I'm doing it this way is I have a lavalier wireless mic set up here. This is the Sony WCS-999. Now some of you have probably seen this if you're looking for lav mics. Some of you have even purchased this. These are about a hundred bucks for the set on Amazon. Um, or B&H or wherever you're shopping. So basically what we have is we have the um, the receiver, I should, sorry, this is the transmitter with the mic on it, and here is the receiver which you would plug into your camera or you could plug it into the Zoom H2, I've done that as well. Um, and basically, very inexpensive setup to go for a wireless lav mic. The uh, Here's the actual lav mic that plugs into the, the transmitter. It's got three channels, so we've got channel one, two, and three we can choose from. Power on, power off. I'll show you some close-ups of these in a minute. And um, basically, um, a nice little setup for very cheap. Now, the thing for me is, the sound quality on these is okay. It's not great. Um, I do find uh, the, the, the lav mic doesn't come with a windscreen, doesn't come with a little foamy, and I find that the, um, the cord is probably not that well insulated because it's very sensitive to pops and bangs if you hit your body or whatnot. And the other thing with lav mics you have to be really careful of, depending on where you position it, if you move your head around uh, as you're talking, you're not going to hear the sound very clearly. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the lav mic. I'm going to go over and plug it into the D7000, so that'll be the, uh, the Sony WCS-999 going straight through the D7000, then I'm going to come back and let you hear what that sounds like. Okay, so I've just switched the power on, and I'm just going to pin this the way you're supposed to. You can either do a couple things with the, with the lav mic. You can tape it to your chest underneath your shirt. A lot of people do that. Um, or you can just clip it. You'll see a lot of people clip it to their, their shirt here. I'm assuming you can hear me. I've got everything switched on here. So here's the lav mic um, clipped to my shirt where a lot of people would wear it. Um, you can probably hear the sound now. Hopefully the sound is coming through fine. And um, what I'm going to try and show you is, as I turn my head, I'm going to go this way, and we'll see if the sound quality, I'm going to listen to this myself once we do this. But see, as I move my head around, the various uh, changes in the sound quality, or if I'm looking down at something, this is what the voice would sound like, or if I look up, or if we move over to the left and we're talking, and we'll see if we can hear any differences in the sound quality to illustrate what I was talking about. And um, the other thing is, is if you're moving around or hitting something, like if I was moving around and the cord gets hit. See, I'm going to tap the cord right now while I'm talking, and we're going to see what kind of pops and hisses you might hear on that. So just demonstrating the sound quality of this lav mic uh, wireless. Um, again, this is about a $100 mic. I'll put a link below on Amazon for you. Um, not bad, but for me, I am now looking to upgrade probably into something like the Sennheiser G3 or even the Sony, I believe it's the UWP. So anyways, I just wanted to show you what the sound quality difference is. So here we are on the Sony WCS-999 and this is plugged directly. The receiver is plugged directly into the Nikon D7000 and I've got the lav mic here on me now. So I hope that helps you out if you're looking at mics to give you a little bit of idea what the sound quality is like. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. And hopefully soon I'll even have a, uh, the new uh, upgraded um, wireless lav mic to show you what it sounds like, maybe even in comparison with the WCS-999. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles, and we'll keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot.